broadcasting system that I have uh, like shut down for some reason. It does. It takes five seconds for it to restart. Uh, I think we're back in business, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, but the question was, somebody, somebody asked me, uh, they're starting a music channel here on YouTube. Do I have any suggestions? Recovered. Um, yeah. Day, seven days a week. And like a few different websites like that tried to use my footage. And I'm like, nope, no, 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 and no. And like the more emails I got like that, the more I just started to get annoyed by the whole packy one chip challenge. And I'm done with it. I'm done with it for now. Uh, Marshall Jim Duncan says, I gotta take a dump. Great. Hope you have some great reading material, Marshall Jim Duncan. And Russell Whitkemper says, How about going back to the haunted music hall? Uh, someone ate a hog head, wasn't it? How about going back to the haunted music hall? Someone ate a hog head, wasn't it? Uh, I have no idea what the second part of that question means. Uh, I did. Um, I actually, I, I was. I was in a haunted music hall, Bobby Mackey's Music World in Kentucky. Um, it used to be like a slaughterhouse. Uh, it used to be like a mafia-owned building where, yes, a woman was beheaded in this well where they also like would drain the blood from the animals and stuff like that uh, for the butcher house. Uh, and like a young lady, the daughter's owner, later on committed suicide there. Um, and, and the, the caretaker, Carl, like, passed away in there. Um, and I did. I, I did. I went on, like, a paranormal investigation. And Bobby Maggie's Music World is, is, like, one of the most demonically haunted places in the world. And, like, the first thing I did, when, like, it was a lights out. It was, like, 3 in the morning. And, like, I walked into the, the main room, and I'm like, fuck you. I was like, Fuck you, asshole, ghosts, you pieces of fucking shit. You know, like, that's what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to, like, provoke any sort of negative spirit. And, yeah, like, all of a sudden, it, it did. It smelled like rotten eggs uh, in my face. It's like a sulfuric smell. And, like, and, and I, I have chills talking about it. Uh, like, that happened. I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, what did I do? Uh, and then, like, later on, I had this, like, detector thing, and I was over in the corner like, the detector thing started, like, beeping out of control. Um, and, like, sometimes you get ringing. You get ringing in your ears. Um, but just, both my ears just started ringing to where I couldn't hear anything. I'm like, like I'm, I'm like, dude, like, I'm like, what's going on? Like, yeah, it felt like something, like, passed through my body. Um, yeah, and then we, we, we went down to the basement where, um, I went down to the basement for, like, a walkthrough during the day. Uh, and they call it the portal to hell, which is like this, um, yeah, the well where the woman got decapitated. And I, and like, I asked the tour guy, I was like, can I stand in there? And he's like, if you want to. And I was like, yeah. And like, I, I climbed over the fence, hopped down in this well, um, and like, she took a picture. And like, I have blue eyes. You can see like my blue eyes. Like in the picture, my eyes were white. There, there was no flash. There was no flash. My eyes were white. Uh, and there was, like, a line going through my body. Uh, and, like, that picture's on my Instagram. And, like, yes, immediately after, like, I, I got, like, a stomach ache and had to leave the basement. Uh, but when we were down there later on at night, um, uh, Dave, Dave, one of the seasoned paranormal investigators that we were with, uh, like, he set up his computer and he put down his, like, chewing tobacco tin. Uh, and all of us were over on the other end of this barn in the basement. And, like pitch black, and we just, the, the tin, all we heard was like a tin, like, bing, like it hit the wall, and we're like, whoa, whoa, and like, his tin went from that fucking table, like, it's, it just flew right by us, and I'm like, fuck, and yeah, like, I, I, I have, I had all this footage uh, on multiple different cameras, and, yep, I had the scan disc in the side of my computer. I was, I was like about to start editing, um, and I, I got out of bed, and the computer dropped out of my hand right on the scan disc, and like smashed it. But I got the, the data recovered. Um, yeah, and then I got, I got into a car accident, and I had my backpack with my camera, the footage, and like the car burned up in flames. 
Yeah, I, I don't think that footage was ever meant uh, to make it to see the light of day. So, yeah, no. The question was, I should go visit the haunted music hall again, to which my answer is, fuck no. Um, I think a clear message was sent that I don't belong there. And I, I, it, it, to those who are skeptical, there's a lot of people who don't believe in ghosts and spirits and stuff like that. To the skeptics, head on over to Bobby Mackey's Music World and see for yourself, because it's fucked up. Uh, and, and, and also, uh, I just want to at least say this to finish that story off. Like, I did. Bobby Mackey uh, is actually like a country music singer. And, like, it is. It's like a honky tonk place. And, like, people do square dancing, but he's like playing his country music up on stage. Um, and, like, after. It was. It was the next day after. Like, we went to the club. Uh, it, it, was, it was Valentine's Day. And, like, they wanted me to eat this four pound cow heart on, like, St. Valentine's Day, to which I did. Uh, the guy, like, boiled it for, like, three minutes to, like, get rid of any parasites, and I just ate this fucking cow heart uh, on St. Valentine's Day. And then, like, we did. I was, like, throwing down shots of whiskey with Bobby Mackey and his wife. I uh, just getting shit-faced. It was awesome. And, like, the last shot that I had, uh, by, like, I was at the bar, and I was just, like, slowly... I was, like, in Bobby Mackey's face, and I was just slowly backing out of the club and just, like, weaving my way out of the club until I got outside in the freezing cold weather. And you could see my breath. Uh, and then, like, it just phased to black. And, like, it was the best... It would have been the best fucking ending to that video, and I'm so pissed that, that I didn't get to piece that video together. But who knows? Maybe one day... No. Maybe one day I will not go back there and try and, and document. No. Nope. Not doing it. That, that place is fucked. No way. Let's move on. Let's move on. Like, huh, let's move on. Austin Wager says the go